section deals with the minimum requirements. What is meant by the minimum requirements? So, this is a bit ambiguous. It can mean how many people there should be in a congregation of Jumu'ah. What's the minimum? So this is an issue of dispute. Some say two is the minimum because two is the least of a jama'ah. If I pray alone, I'm a loner. If I pray next to a... When the Imam gives the khutbah, there's only one person in the congregation and he cannot be a congregation. And this is why the most authentic opinion is that in order for a Jumu'ah to be valid, you have to have at least three people in it, an Imam and two in the congregation. So this is a valid Jumu'ah. Other schools of thought say there have to be at least 40. Some say 12, some say this, but all of these do not have any evidences to back them up. The jama'a is considered to be a jama'a, a congregation, when you have two or more, and this is excluding the imam. Minimum requirement can also refer to the minimum prayed or offered in a jum'a to be a valid jum'a. So if I come from the very beginning, my, my Jumu'ah is valid, without any doubt. What about if I skip the two sermons and I only attended the two rak'ahs of Jumu'ah? Again, the consensus of scholars, my congregation, my Friday is valid, but I've lost a lot of reward. What about if I miss one rak'ah and pray one rak'ah with the Imam? Again, this is valid, but your dead end or your threshold or the minimum accepted is when the imam is in the rukur position of the second raka and you come to the masjid if the imam is in the second raka rukur and you say allahu akbar and you attend him while he's in rukur you are in ruku' at the same time. You manage to say Subhana Rabbi al Azim once, and he says Sami Allahu liman hamida, and you raise your head. This is a valid rak'ah, minimum requirement for a valid. But if you came into the prayer, he's in the second rak'ah in the bowing position, and just as you four rak'ahs. Yeah, but I attended the salat with the Imam. No. Once the Imam raises his head from the second rak'ah, this means that you've missed the Friday and you have to pray four rak'ah of Dhuhr. So the dividing line is to offer rukur in the second rak'ah with the Imam. You miss this, you have to pray Dhuhr prayer.